In this video clip, I'm going to be demonstrating how to tie in the tail of a fly. Now this particular tail I'm going to tie in is a piece of marabou, and it's for a wet fly. I'm actually going to show you how to make the tail for a woolly bugger. Marabou is kind of hard stuff to work with. It fluffs out and goes nuts on you. But one of the things you can do is either lick your fingers or run your fingers down it or just run it through your mouth real quick. Some people get grossed out by that so you can keep a little cup of water nearby so that you can wet the fibers and control them a little easier. That's what they look like wetted down. Proportions are very important on a fly. You want your tail to be about the same length as a hook shank. So you just kind of lay it out there as a gauge. You just give it a couple wraps at the back. Now, one of the problems that will occur is the fibers will want to pull around the hook as you're tying. So you have to kind of maintain control of it with one hand while you're tying it in with the other. And I like a layer of this on my woolly buggers all the way to the front because then they have, there's material in the woolly bugger that way to absorb water. And there you go, there's the tail of a fly tied in, and as that dries out, it'll get all nice and fluffy like you see them in the fly store. So there you go.